राइट वेलकम बैक टू बुलेट प्रूफ माइंड सेट आई नो मैंने बहुत टाइम से नहीं बनाया एक वीडियो ऑन द सीरीज बट आई हैव बीन बिजी इट इज़ वॉट इट इज़ बट फॉर द पीपल जो ये पॉडकास्ट पे पहली बार आए आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वॉट गोज ऑन ओवर हियर सो आई जस्ट बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट इंसाइट्स इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन दैट यू नीड इन लाइफ टू बी सक्सेसफुल टू डू बेटर टू बी हैविंग अ बुलेट प्रूफ माइंड सेट हैविंग अ गुड माइंड सेट and this is completely raw completely uncut completely unscripted unedited because you might also see here i just start screen recording and then i end screen recording in front of you i don't even do anything with the video file i directly post it so it's completely raw information it probably fucks up with my youtube algorithm and uh, all the videos that i post but i don't care i only care about putting out the right information right so let's get started so i today really want to talk about something very important which is execution and honestly i'm making this podcast with a very heavy heart because of something that happened recently i'll come to that because it's related to this topic only so uh first of all this question was asked to me by a community member in my discord his name is daksh so he asked about execution ki how do i keep executing etc etc i don't exactly remember what his question was but i believe ki ye bahut important topic hai jiske bare mein baat karna chahiye because people don't understand the power of execution and people don't understand the power of seizing every possible opportunity you can because jab tak you don't execute see there's a there's a quote that says you miss all the shots you don't take so a lot of people don't take shots at all a lot of people are very scared a lot of people are scared to take the step but you might have also heard that action takers are the money makers bahut sare log baat bahut badi badi karte hain bahut sare log baat bahut you know lambi lambi dete hain but when it actually comes to execution when it actually comes the time to execute people back off 90% of the people back off 95% of the people back off when they give some or the other excuse when it's actually time to execute when it's actually time to you know fight your fears and take that next step you know when you're planning something and this was something that was also told to me by my mentor ramesh bhai so he was saying that yahan pe bahut sare baithe hai jo badi badi baatein kar sakte badi badi pitch decks bana sakte bade bade startups ke ideas bana sakte but kuch karke dikhane wale ko hi yahan pe importance milti hai basically execution right but i believe ki execution is actually the next step of something else which i like i would like to call positioning yourself right so positioning yourself for execution is a lot more important and positioning yourself for opportunities is a lot more important because agar aapke paas opportunity hi nahi hai to aap execute kya karoge right that's that's a big big issue for i would say a lot of people like for me i would say it's not a big problem because i'm always positioning myself in a certain way where automatically automatically opportunities come to me right so i believe this is something that not a lot of people talk about because execution yeah execution a lot of people talk about they know etc etc but what leads to execution is positioning yourself right so let me come to that i will let me give you an example let me tell you ki yaar mere paas na ek bahut achhi investment opportunity hai and you can literally double or 5x or 10x your money but agar aapke paas paise hi nahi invest karne ke liye so how the you are you going to invest in that right so what i'm trying to say basically is positioning yourself in a certain way where you can capitalize on whatever opportunities are coming to you is a very important thing to do because like let, let's take my own example i started off as a fitness coach i started off as an online trainer right so ab agar main online trainer tha i was making some small amount of money right i was having some change in my bank account or whatever you want to call it uske baad how a lot of people also ask me kya tumhari ye jo stock market ki journey wo kaise start hui so i'll tell you my journey started from 11th standard where i was in 11th standard and economics professor of mine i still remember him his name was roshan kotian so he was actually talking about stock market so that got me very interesting interested right and now just imagine i am 100% sure that in my whole class at that point of time only like two or three people actually executed on the market at that point of time why do you think that happened because not everyone has access to money or cash at that age right i think we are like 16 or 17 when we are in 11th grade so that's what i my point is ki 
I was positioned in a certain way. I'm not saying that कि मेरे को already मालूम था that I'm going to invest. I'm not saying that I already knew my professor is going to talk about stock market and I'm going to start investing in trading. No. But what I'm saying is, I was in a better position compared to all my classmates because I was already making money and I had access to the cash, which allowed me then to go ahead and invest and trade. But if we take then example of other classmates, like I said, 16-17 साल की उम्र पे किसी के पास इतने पैसे नहीं होते हैं, right? And होता भी है तो it's basically from the pocket money or from the parents, right? So this is what I'm talking about. कि at the age of 16 or 17, you cannot possibly invest into the stock market, no matter आपको कितनी भी अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल जाए. That's just one way of looking at it. But I believe another way of looking at it is preparing yourself mentally and you know having the right network having hanging out with the right set of people that will constantly you know that are constantly doing something like for example i am always always again and again doing something i'm always up to something right so the people that are in my circle वैसे तो मेरा सर्कल आई आई डोंट इवन थिंक आई हैव अ सर्कल लाइक आई आई वुड जस्ट से इट्स माय ब्रदर एंड आई डोंट इवन नो मैन द पीपल दैट आर हियर इन दुबई राइट सो I I don't even consider that I have a circle, but I am always up to something, right? So if I have a certain business opportunity, I am going to pitch it to the people that are in my circle, right? So those people I would say are better positioned compared to the people that I don't know, right? Not I'm I'm not saying that they are me who sab kuch. I'm not saying that me sa kisi ko business opportunity de sakta. No, no. I'm just giving you an example, right? So. positioning yourself and this is why it's important for you to hang out with the right people and hanging out with the crowd that is not wasting your time or wasting their time doing stupid shit right right so if i hang out with a bunch of entrepreneurs or founders i am 100% sure they are going to come up with some opportunities one or the other day this may i might possibly invest and make it big right so this is something that's very very important ki you need to position yourself and i would say the latter stage of this positioning is you might have all the resources to execute but in the end you don't execute because of your fear or because of your thoughts or because of overthinking or because of some or the other 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 things right and i believe you could possibly have the best network in the world you could possibly have the best opportunities in the world but mere bhai agar aap execute hi nahi karoge to how the hell are you going to get the benefit out of that particular opportunity right so what i'm trying to say is never ever ever underestimate even the smallest opportunity i'll tell you how i got into uh a firm a trading firm how i was hired as an analyst in a trading firm right so a lot of people think that i used to do a job in a forex firm blah 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 but it's not like that i'll tell you the story behind it so there's a, this platform called as fiverr.com f i v e r r .com right jahan pe basically freelancers list out services so at that point of time i was like theek hai bhai mere ko trading aati hai so why not you know make some extra bucks from this skill by doing something else so i went on fiverr i put a certain gig of mine where i wrote that i'll basically analyze any asset that you want me to for a few bucks like for for a few dollars right so kisi ko mere se analysis karwana hai they'll pay me like 15 dollars 20 dollars and then main unko analysis karke dunga and yeah that's the basically the deal right so i put up something like this i did not got a single conversion by the way i did not got a single conversion just so you know for that gig i used to do other gigs as well but for that gig i did not get any conversion but there was this one guy who texted me and he was like uh we want you to be an analyst for our telegram group or for our forex trading firm right so i was like okay sure tell me more about it and then he was like we're going to pay you this much x 1000 dollars for a month i was like what the hell so i was i was completely shocked because I wouldn't have thought in my wildest dreams that, and at that point of time, a thousand dollars would, or you know, a figure in thousands of dollars was a big deal for me. So I was like, 
what the hell dude like even this small thing that i just did the small effort that i took to just position myself out there in a global market all i had to do was just register on that platform and just tell people that bhai mere paas ye skill hai tere ko agar kuch karna hai yahan pe i can do that for you maine kya kiya bas itna kiya but i could be the best fucking trader in the world but agar main bahar अपने बेडरूम से नहीं निकल रहा हूँ आई एम नॉट पोजिशनिंग माई सेल्फ इन अ सर्टन वे वे पीपल कैन सी दैट हाँ भाई इसको ट्रेडिंग आती है अच्छा ट्रेडिंग करता है या अच्छा बिजनेस मैन है एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा मेरे को नहीं मिलेगी भाई अपॉर्चुनिटी नो वन गेमिंग गो नो ऑफर मी एनी थिंग यू हैव टू पोजिशन योर सेल्फ इन अ सर्टन वे इफ यू वॉन्ट अपॉर्चुनिटीज सेकेंड स्टेप इफ यू गेट द अपॉर्चुनिटी यू हैव टू मेक श्योर यू एक्सिक्यूट ऑब्वियसली नॉट ऑल अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर गोइंग टू सूट यू But if you are, you know, rejecting a certain opportunity because of a certain thought, because of a certain bias, or because of a certain emotional barrier, then I personally think you don't deserve that opportunity. To be very honest, to be very brutal, right here, because by you are getting a certain opportunity, all you have to do is execute. Stop thinking with your head. I mean, obviously, you think with your head, but what I'm trying to say: stop taking decisions with emotion. Start thinking with logic. Start thinking like a trader. Start thinking in terms of risk. कि भाई ठीक है ये opportunity है. What's the worst that can happen? What is the risk in this opportunity? Right? Always, I मेरी आदत हो गई है. Like trading is, uh, trading has developed this quality in me that. वट एवर आई डू अलवेज थिंक यार वट्स द वर्स्ट दैट कुड पॉसिबली हैपन मतलब ठीक है सो आई प्रिपेयर माई सेल्फ फॉर द वर्स्ट राइट फॉर द एप्सोल्यूट वर्स्ट तो ठीक है भाई इससे बुरा कुछ नहीं हो सकता तो ये सबसे बुरी चीज है जो हो सकती है ना मैं प्रिपेयर माई सेल्फ फॉर दैट सो अगर वो होता भी है आई एम नॉट सरप्राइज आई एम नॉट लाइक अरे भाई यार मेरे साथ ये क्या हो गया राइट सो इफ यू सी मी इन यू नो एडवर्स सिचुएशन आई एम नेवर scared or i'm never you know afraid and stuff like that because i have already thought about it in my mind ki bhai theek hai aisa ho sakta hai right so this is what i'm saying ki even when you know an opportunity comes up you have to make sure you execute that unless and until of course you know the opportunity is absolutely stupid it doesn't make sense it sounds like a scam etc etc right because recently i'll tell you what happened i don't want to take any names but abhi like i think i mentioned i'm making this with a very heavy heart so what recently happened ki i have this friend of mine in dubai so he he works a 9 to 5 job and uh, yeah average 9 to 5 job right so i i gave offered this him this business opportunity and uh, he was like all excited and all that stuff he, he initially he was scared then he joined me and then we started right after that he says yaar mere ko nahi karna hai theek hai nahi karna hai okay not up not an issue mat kar bhai but i think main itna attach ho gaya tha uski success se because i genuinely wanted to see him do good in life because i was seeing him struggle with a 9 to 5 to mai ko andar se you know खराब लग रहा था अभी भी लग रहा है बहुत खराब लग रहा है कि यार इसको भाई को मैंने यार लाइफ चेंजिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी दी जिससे भाई अपनी जॉब वॉब छोड़ के फाइनेंशियली फ्री जिंदगी जी सकता है और ये इस अपॉर्चुनिटी को एक्सिक्यूट नहीं कर रहा है आई मीन ऑब्वियसली ही माइट हैव अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ और एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर हिज डिसीजन बट आई नो क्या पोटेंशियल था इस चीज में एंड सी whether he does it or whether he does not do it main to karne wala hu bhai main kisi ke liye rukunga nahi right but the fact that we both could have gotten shit rich together and you know did something do something big just hurts me yaar obviously you know being successful alone and being successful with your close ones makes a lot of difference सिर्फ पैसे से कुछ नहीं होता भाई यू नो जस्ट बींग रिच ऑब्वियसली इट मैटर्स बींग रिच बट जब आप अपने क्लोज वन के साथ सक्सेसफुल होते हो ना उसका मजा अलग होता है सो ऑनेस्टली आई 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 स्टिल कैन नॉट आई मीन ऑब्वियसली 
I need to work on this. Usually, I am not. I am not really attached to people or uh, people's success. But in this case, I, I I think I got very attached. So I feel bad even now that that person decided not to continue this. But anyway, moving on from that. So this is what I'm saying that execution is highly highly important. But what is more even more important is how you. get those opportunities for executing things right you need to have the right network i i believe networking is a very very important thing usse important cheez nahi ho sakti because i have mentioned this a lot of times ki in this city i have seen so many people jinke paas bhai koi skill set nahi hai stupid there are stupid people over here but wo log paise kama rahe hain just because they are at the right place at the right time मतलब दुबई ऐसी जगह है यहाँ पे इतनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज होती है यू जस्ट हैव टू पोजिशन योर सेल्फ इन अ सर्टन वे इफ यू डू इट राइट यू कैन बी अ बिग शॉट इन नो टाइम ऑनेस्टली यू नीड टू हैव द राइट नेटवर्क बट बैक इन इंडिया देर आर लिटरली सो मेनी पीपल जिनके पास इतनी स्किल्स है दे कैन डू सो मच बट दे नॉट गेटिंग दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी दे आर नॉट पोजिशनिंग देर सेल्स देर सेल्स एंड इवन इफ दे आर गेटिंग दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी दे आर नॉट एक्सिक्यूटिंग so i think this is going to be quite a short podcast but this is what i just wanted to talk about ki execution is very important and what is even more important is positioning yourself in a certain way jahan pe opportunities keep coming to you so you always have to be open and you always have to be more importantly you always have to be open minded because there could be opportunity ab ekdam ekdam simple si baat mere ko batao aap log agar 1990 फोर और वेन एवर द हेल एमेजोन स्टार्टेड अगर जेफ बेगोज आपके पास आके बोलता कि भाई मैं ना दुनिया का सबसे अमीर आदमी बनने वाला हूँ मेरी गैराज में एक बुक स्टोर चला के क्या आप उसको पैसे देते क्या आप उसके साथ इन्वेस्ट करते ऑब्वियसली नहीं राइट बट सम और द अदर डे दिस सेम जेफ बेजोज लाइक अ पर्सन माइट कम टू यू एंड टेल यू भाई ये करना है एंड बहुत बड़ा करना है and you might just think yaar ye kya bol raha hai pagal ho gaya so i just want you to think logically i just want you to think with facts i just want you to think what makes sense and what doesn't make sense by keeping your mental bias side mein rakh ke think with an open mind because i think i think this is a very important saying as well my uncle told me this when when we were actually going through a very difficult phase in life so he told me ki always and always be flexible always and always be flexible right what do i mean by that ki jo insaan flexible hota hai na jab zindagi usko pakad ke modti hai jab zindagi usko pakad ke nichodti hai na wo tootta nahi hai lekin jo aadmi stiff hota hai जो आदमी चेंज नहीं होना चाहता है जब जिंदगी उसको पकड़ के मोड़ती है ना वो टूट जाता है सो आई बिलीव दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड रिसेंटली आई वाज रीडिंग समवेयर आई आल्सो रेड दैट योर माइंड इज लाइक अ पैराशूट इट वर्क्स बेस्ट व्हेन इट्स ओपन सो आई आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू यू नो कीप दिस फ्यू थिंग्स ऑन द टेबल एंड मेक श्योर दैट माई क्राउड एंड माई कम्युनिटी एंड द एल्फा कम्युनिटी दैट आई एम डेवलपिंग दैट आई एम बिल्डिंग has to understand first of all positioning themselves in the right way being open to opportunities being open minded and most importantly executing on that opportunity because in the end action takers are the money makers that's all so again thank you so much guys for joining in thank you so much for listening to this if you're still listening you're the mvp you're cool whatever <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for listening i'll see you in the next episode bye bye